we're given the following, and this fits into the quadratic category because we're going to apply the square root property at the end. But we're given the following right here, and we're asked to solve for r. So this is some formula, okay? This is some formula. Suppose, I don't know what m is off the top of my head, but we can assume maybe r is the radius, h might be the height, uh, d, I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter what the formula is for. The point is we're going to solve for the, for the r. Okay? So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by pi hd. By pi hd. And I guess all that means is pi is now in high definition. Well, that's just a joke. But let's see here. If I divide everything by pi hd, then what happens here is these pi's, these h's, and these d's end up eliminating or, or cancel, as some of you might say. All right, I say line out or cross out, because cancel implies again we're left with zero. So now I've got something that looks like this: r squared equals m over pi h d. Okay. Well, the the answer to this question, I believe is very simple because I would say well apply the square root property apply the square root property and then you're done okay so I would say r equals plus and minus all right the square root of m over the square root of pi hd which would look something like this also but here's the issue all right you cannot have a square root in the denominator. So what we have to do, one final step. Now, like I said, in class, this is acceptable as the answer. But if you're typing your answer in online somewhere, uh, this would not be acceptable for the computer because you're actually violating a rule here, which is no square roots in the denominator. So what we do is we rationalize the denominator. And what we do by that is multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction here by the denominator. So pi hd and pi hd. Now what happens in effect is that we're squaring the denominator. And what happens when you square a square root? You're right, you get rid of it. So in the denominator we're going to be left with pi hd. In the numerator we're going to have the product of these two square roots which is the square root of m times pi hd. And don't forget that famous plus and minus. And this right here will solve our equation here for r. So it all boils down to this right here.